Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm back with another unboxing for you guys. I have been anxiously awaiting this one because this paper is everything. I need this in like wallpaper, fabric, all over my craft space. Like these are my colors, these are my jam. I'm so excited. So this is the newest collection from Felicity Jane. This is Tori for the month of August. I'm a little late getting my unboxing video up. Sorry about that. You know, thanks to COVID and the pandemic, we are still dealing with a little bit of ishing, uh, shipping delays. I think they're getting caught up. But just so you know, if you are waiting on packages, not just from Felicity Jane, but from anywhere, let's extend some grace. <laughs> Shipping is kind of crazy right now. So uh, I am super excited for it to be here and I can bring it to you. And this month is birthday month for Felicity Jane. So uh, there's going to be lots of fun things. We're going to have a blog hub ha happening later on. There's going to be a sale happening later on in the month. So lots of fun things coming to Felicity Jane this month. Um, but I definitely wanted to, to share with you the kit. I know many people like to wait until sales to order the kit. Now, let me just say the last few kits from Felicity Jane last few months have sold out fairly quickly, especially after my unboxing video comes out. You guys go nuts over these kits. So I would say if you want this collection, do not hesitate. Go ahead and order this collection. And then maybe if you have some other things that you're wanting to order from Felicity Jane, you can wait until the sale for that. But um, I don't even know that this is going to be included in the sale. I don't know all the sale details and all that yet. I am on the design team, but I don't get all the ins and outs ahead of time. Um, so if you don't want to miss out on this kit, go ahead and order it. Everything will be linked down below for you. Those are affiliate links. Just heads up. So let's dive in and take a look at uh, Tori because it is just gorgeous. I'm going to start with the paper because I'm obsessed, cannot get enough. So the 12 by 12 papers are amazing from Felicity Jane. I have two sets of the 12 by 12 pack. So I can show you um, A side and B side all at once. You'll see back and front, they are double printed. Um, when you order the kit, you just get one set of the 12 by 12 papers, but they are double sided. So just so you understand what I'm showing you, I have a little bit of extra here because I'm on the creative team and praise Jesus, because I need like 50 sheets of this paper right here. <laughs> so the 12 by 12 packs do come with these fun monthly title cards. These do fit in the three by eight um, pocket sleeves that Felicity Jane has that fits in their binders. So if you're wanting to keep a planner or a faith binder, like I've been keeping something like that, these fit in there. Of course, you could use this on a layout, you know, fussy cut it out or whatever. But I love that they started including this um, for those of you who are doing like a monthly project. That's super nice. So you get that included. Don't throw away your packaging. I always save these because you can use the, the paper swatches to die cut out, to create tabs, to do little layering bits. So this is usable pattern paper. Do not throw this away. <laughs> All right, let's dive in. So these are um, slightly larger than 12 by 12 because they do have the branding strip at the bottom and the brand, even the branding strips from Felicity Jane are just amazing. So can we talk about floral and hearts, you guys? I'm going to be fussy cutting this out using this paper like crazy. Oh, can we just stare at it? It's beautiful. These colors, the that deep, deep kind of ochre yellow and the like corally pink, those are my favorite colors with that kind of minty blue in the background. I'm obsessed. I will have a blog post that corresponds with close-up photos of all the products as well as some color matching for like gelatos, paints, inks, that kind of thing. I try to color match the best I can with the collection. Um, that way you can know what matches and just get to creating. So A side, B side, we have the floral on the A side and this beautiful tone-on-tone -tone pink heart pattern. And the branding strip is a super fun scallop. So you could cut this down if you're a 12 by 12 scrapbooker. You could cut down just a little bit off the top and leave that scallop as a fun embellishment. Or you could trim that off and use that um, scallop as an embellishment on another page. So there is that confetti and grid, the super fun multicolored confetti starburst print, and then just a black and white grid on the back with a striped branding strip. Uh, typically, the papers are fun and bright and vibrant on the front side, and the B side is usually a little bit more neutral of a pattern. Um, not always, but that's typically how it is. Stripes and dotted rows. Gosh, this color palette this month is just so fun. You'll see some of this green that's pulled out from um, Amanda, I believe, last month. And then you had this green in some of the December kits. So if you are working on some other projects and mixing and matching kits, one thing I really love about Felicity Jane um, kits is that they have colors or tones of colors that are repeated throughout the collection. So it's very easy to mix and match. And then you've got this kind of it's almost like a purpley pink in there. Just lots of fun colors this month. Back side is this dotted row striped paper there with the branding strip stripe. 
You've got spots and flowers. So it's a white and green polka dot. And then this really gorgeous black and white floral pattern on the B side with that gingham branding strip. Love that. Uh, scallops and stripes. So, so pretty. And then the B side is this um, minty green stripe pattern. Gosh, they knocked it out of the park with the patterns and colors this month. I am so excited. Stitching and chevron. So it's this fun scalloped stitching on this kind of golden ochre color. And then look at this wonky chevron. How fun is that? Gosh, I'm loving that pop of green. So this is a really nice transition from like the bright corals and blues for summer into more fall kind of jewel tone colors with the green and that deep ochre color. So this is a great transitional um palette here. Love this branding strip with the numbers. So you could highlight to do your date or like maybe a specific, you know, number that, you know, is in your project that you're using. So that would be kind of fun. And then last but not least are the solid cardstock. So A side, B side is this little kind of watermelon, strawberry pink, and then kind of a dusty rose pink with a scallop on the bottom. And then you've got that kind of minty blue and a green on the B side. So those are the 12 by 12 papers. And so of course, everything else in the collection is gonna be that color palette and it's gonna play off the designs that you see um, in these papers. So let's set that aside. Let's take a look at the journaling cards. Uh, so glad that that floral is in the journaling card. These are three by four. Um, the back side of Felicity Jane cards are a dot and line grid in gray and white. So it makes it really nice. You don't have to pick and choose what side you want to use, but it also gives you just a neutral background to um, journal on if you wanted to have some more hidden journaling, whether it's, you know, Bible journaling or in a scrapbooking project. Uh, or maybe you have a card that's just not a card that you're going to use. It's not your style, not your color, whatever it might be. Then flip it over and use the grid as a journaling spot or a layering element behind something. So even if you're not a pocket scrapbooker, there's ways to use these journaling cards in a variety of different projects. I show those on my channel often. I've done little mini books. I've done, um, Tag, you know, cut them down into tags and created little pockets, all kinds of fun things. Um, another feature that I really like about the Felicity Jane journaling cards is that they are fairly simple. So you can add embellishment if you wanted to add some stamping or some stitching or some paper layering or maybe some of the stickers or die cuts to dress these up and really make them unique and your own. Um, that way, all of our layouts aren't turning out looking the same. They're not identical. You can kind of customize these cards to fit whatever you're doing. Love this today one. So you've got some, you know, prompt ones that you can journal on and then just some filler cards. Love the colors. Love them. Black and white polka dot and then hooray, hooray, hooray. So you are going to see some birthday themed things in here because it is a birthday kits. Happy birthday, Felicity Jane. Um, but it's not all birthdays, which I really appreciate. So you can use for a variety of different um, projects. Let's look at the die cuts here. I love the Felicity Jane die cuts. I have quite the stash collected at this point. This comes with 31 pieces in here. I'm losing some photo corners. So it does look like there's some photo corners in there, some really adorable little tags. How cute are these? You could stamp a date on there or a little um, word. Those are super adorable. Um, the florals, ugh. There's always some kind of floral in Felicity Jane's collections and these, oh my gosh, you guys, this kit's going to sell out. I know it because it's just beautiful. You guys go nuts over this style of florals, these colors. Um, it's just go grab it. <laughs> All right, here's Tori. So each month you get a girl and this is Tori. She's super fun. I love that Felicity Jane uses a variety of styles, the different body shapes, different, you know, um, demographics in their girls. They are not filled in with color. So if you wanted to customize them and color them in with a marker to make them look like you, you could definitely do that. Um, but I like that they're kind of neutral. So you can kind of use them however you want. All right, you've got some phrases, birthday, Love these here. Here's the story. Oh, what does it say? Celebrate you. Really fun for birthday cards. Look at these, the fun ticket with a little heart. Oh, these tickets are so cute. Make a wish. Chapter eight. Happy, happy, happy. It's fun little banners. <laughs> Look at this adorable plaid cake. Oh my gosh. I bet there's going to be some gorgeous birthday cards made out of this collection this month. All right. And since we're not having like big giant birthday parties, thanks COVID, 
<laughs> maybe spend some time making some fun birthday cards for some friends and send them out. It's a great way to just let somebody know that you're thinking about them. Um, you've got some fun starbursts in there, these adorable little stubby tags, and then just some labels and things like that. And here's another tag. Love that. So there are some photo corners. So there's a look at all the die cut pieces for the Tory collection. Oh, you guys, I can't get enough of it. <laughs> so, so pretty. All right, let's move these to the side. Okay, next up we have the stamp set. So this is a four by six clear stamp set. Uh, another thing that I really like about Felicity Jane is their attention to detail. So their packaging, um, how everything is packaged, which is really nice. Their stamps come in these nice quality plastic um, envelope sleeves that you can save. So if you are looking for a good way to store your stamp sets, this is a great way in these sleeves. They do sell them, I think, individually or like in packets uh, without the stamp set in the shop. So I'll try to link those down below. And I just keep these standing up in a basket. Uh, and so they're just, it's nice. You don't have to do anything. They're already packaged for you and ready to go to be stored. Okay, so you've got lots of birthday phrases in here. Celebrate, happy birthday. I love the mixture of fonts. The typography is amazing this month. Uh, let's party, happy, 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 best day, growing up, surprise. So there's some pieces in here that you can use outside of birthday documenting. And then you have this fun little cake that you can piece together. I love when they separate them this way so that you can stamp them in different colors and kind of build your own embellishment. Hooray, living my best life, some fun, you know, um, sprinkles and little starburst. Happy, happy, happy birthday. So love that. Love that. Yay. That's super cute. So there's the Tory stamp set. Next up, we have some puffy stickers. So there's 22 stickers on here. I love these bows. These are so adorable. And you've got some word fetty here and then these circle. These will be super fun to attach to a paper clip. Um, and then attach some cardstock to the back, kind of sandwich it around the paper clip and create little paper clip clips for your Bible journaling or your planner. Um, that would be really fun. They do have some dimension to them, um, but they're squishy. So if you're working in a traveler's notebook or a binder or a Bible, um, these don't add too much bulk. They kind of squish down. So you've got some fun, some fun pieces in there. Love that, that rose there. So there's a look at the puppy stickers. Next up, we have the epoxy dot stickers. So you've got a variety of sized circles in the color palette from the kit. I like to use these, especially the little ones. This is a really quick and easy way to dress up your flowers. So using these as little centers to the flowers, just add some texture and embellishment to what otherwise would be a flat surface, like a paper or like that floral um, journaling card that I showed at the beginning, just adding these to the center or even stamping florals. There's a couple floral stamp sets in the Felicity Jane um, shop and I'll stamp out those florals and then use these uh, epoxy dots as the centers of those. And it just kind of adds a little something to them. But of course they're great for just adding little pops of color throughout your page. They are um, slightly raised. They do have a little bit of dimension, but again, it's not obnoxious. So if you're working in something like your Bible or a traveler's notebook, um, it's not gonna add too much chunk there, but there gives you a look at the color palette. Again, I'll have color swatches over on my blog. We have some fun options for alpha this month. So you got the alpha stickers. Um, these are a really fun, bold, stubby um, serif font in that kind of minty green. They are puffy. You do get numbers and letters. Love that alpha. That is super fun. So this is a sticker. And then this is really new and fun. They did a die cut alphabet this month. So these are like their uh, die cut pieces is the same material, um, but it's a full alpha and numbers and punctuation in the color palette from the kit this month. So, and they are these really tall, narrow uh, font. These would be great. If you're working in an interleaved journaling Bible, these would be fantastic for that because they're going to uh, use up a lot of space, but they're narrow enough that you can spell out longer words and it's not going to, you know, take up a ginormous project. How fun are these? Love that. These are going to be so much fun to play with. So there is the die cut alphabet. You get 104 pieces. So there are several of each letter and number and punctuation in there. Let's see, you got three A's, three B's. So it looks like three of each letter and number in there. So you've got some variety. And I love that the color is already variegated for you. So when you're spelling out your word, it's you don't even have to think about it. It's you're going to have little pops of all the colors from the collection um, in whatever title that you're putting together. 
And then last but not least, we have a washi tape. Felicity Jane washi tape is one of my favorite washies. I oftentimes, about once a month, I get somebody asking where I buy my washi tape from. Felicity Jane is one of my top places. I love it because they always have, um, they're like a neutral layering washi. They're they're not like big typography or big bold prints. And so they're very easy to layer behind things and just incorporate into projects. If I'm creating like a mini album um, or a tip in or something like that, their grid washi is my absolute favorite washi. I will link that down below. I have three rolls of this and it's just a good quality washi. But um, this month we are getting a kind of ochre yellow polka dot washi. Again, another good just neutral layering washi. This is a color that gets repeated in a lot of things. If you're a Bible journaler, this color gets used in a lot of different devotional kits. Uh, and so I think you'll be able to get a lot of use out of this washi tape. And you do get a full roll of that in the collection this month. So there is a look at everything that comes in the Tory collection. So you can order the kit in its entirety. I did just double check and it's still available in the shop, but they also have everything a la carte. So if there's, you know, specific things you want to kind of build your own kit, you definitely can do that. Um, and just picking and choosing the pieces that you want. Like I said, you could mix and match from past kits as well and create your own little kit. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below for me. Um, check out the Tori part of the shop because there's also some goodies like um, Traveler's Notebooks, A5 Notebooks, there's some bow clippies, um, the girl stamps. So there are some additional new things that get added to the shop each month as well. So definitely check that out. Uh, check out the description box for all the affiliate links for everything that I mentioned today. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Um, be sure to click on that bell notification button so you don't miss any future videos from me. Uh, YouTube kind of has a funny algorithm. Sometimes they don't notify you of my videos, but if you click on that bell, you'll be notified every time I have a new video up. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.